Yeah, we, we call it internally the most progressive sports car because uh, it's progressive in terms of its design. So uh, the design language is uh, brand new, it's inspiring, it's very future oriented. Uh, and it's also uh, progressive under the skin, under the surface, because it's uh, high technology. Because you get actually several cars in one. You get a sports car, um, so where you can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles in just 4.5 seconds. Top speed of 155 uh, miles per hour, what we also sometimes appreciate. Uh, but on a consumption level of uh, 87 miles and per gallon. And this is what we believe is the future, because uh, uh, we have to pay attention to the total carbon footprint, to our CO2 emission, and to build a sports car which is efficient and dynamic at the same time, this is what we are going for with the BMW i8. When we look at the i8, the exterior uh, will provide the best aerodynamic value in, in the sports car segment because uh, it's bionetic. We learn from the nature. When you take a water drop and let the water drop fall, right, it always creates the same shape. right? because this is the most efficient way to surround the body. So you will have a conic uh, tail. And when you look at the IA, the greenhouse, so the passenger compartment actually uh, will become thinner to the rear. We're covering this so uh, that for optical reasons with some uh, elements, but it has the best aerodynamic shape. When you look at the wheels, they have 20 inch, so very dynamic from the outside, but they're very thin because they are just wide enough in order to bring the power, uh, so all the torque, on the asphalt, not wider. We don't need them to be wide for dynamic aesthetic reasons, they just need to be wide enough in order to transfer the relevant torque. When we go to the interior, of course, we look uh, to a very driver-oriented interior. Perfect connectivity, you have all your emails on screen, the intelli intelligent routing, all traffic information, real time in the in navigation system integrated that the navigation system can recommend the shortest way in order to, uh, to make sure that you always reach your destination in time. And the driver has the op uh, opportunity to drive the car in dri three different modes. He pushes the button or she pushes the button and then uh, you have the uh, EV mode, so the full electric zero emission drive. You can drive the car uh, for approximately 20 miles, fully electric, so perfectly for the city drives. But of course you have two engines on board, it's a plug-in hybrid. Of course it makes sense to use both of them, it's a sports car. Usually you should drive it in the hybrid mode, it makes most sense. But as I said, you get two cars in one, so a total output of 356 horsepower. So this is what you appreciate when you drive it in the hybrid mode or uh, in the sports mode, which is the third mode. I mean, I've driven all the cars already the last year and it's so much fun to drive them. And uh, you know that you drive a sports car, but on a consumption level of a small compact car, it gives you a really good feeling. And it's like driving a car of the next generation and when you see a regular sports car standing next to you, you think, this is the old world, right? I think the main message I would like to share is yes, we are doing this seriously and they are on the road already, we are not joking and uh, the advantages of the material are, uh, they are given and they exist.